Hey y'all, it's Jade and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a little what is in my nursing school clinical bag. So I've always wanted to make a little video like this. I used to always love making what's in my backpack videos, but whenever I decided to go into nursing school, I loved watching the what's in my clinical bag videos. So as you guys know, I am a second semester junior at Lee University in their nursing program. And I started clinicals last semester and I have them again this semester. So I've kind of had a whole semester to work out all the kinks of what I like and don't like for organizing my clinical bag. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below as well as give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are nursing students or if you're interested in going into nursing. I remember binge watching like every nursing related video on YouTube like my entire junior and senior year of high school. And it's crazy to be here at this point and in the program and loving it and going to clinicals. But I'm gonna keep this intro pretty short and sweet so let's hop right on in to the video. All right, so first off, this is the bag that I use. This is the Lululemon 18 liter, I'm pretty sure, tote bag. Then it's got these little cinches on the side, so I currently have those cinched in just because I like the way that it looks. I really like this bag. I feel like it's at a good price point. It's really good quality, and also, since it's kind of a nylon material on the outside, it's super easy to wipe off and clean, whether you want to just sanitize it at the end of the day, because that's really important, or if it's literally just for the sake of keeping the bag looking nice. I also just love a big tote bag where I can throw a bunch of stuff in there and I also usually bring my lunchbox with me to clinical and I actually keep it in my tote bag when I go. So as far as this bag goes, it's really just one big main compartment. There is a front pocket right here in the front, um, a little snap closure that keeps it closed and then there is one smaller pocket right in the inside here. Starting with what I keep in the little outside pocket, it's mainly like my phone, my keys, all of that type of stuff. But I also do keep my nursing student badge. I'm obviously not going to turn it around and show it because I feel like that might just not be something I should share on the internet. But going into the inside, again, one of the things that usually takes up the most room in my clinical bag is my lunch, just because I like to keep it all in my bag. And one thing I wanted to mention in this video that I never heard anyone else mention um, in their what's in my clinical bags is that typically nursing professors want you to bring as small of a bag as you possibly can. This obviously is not the world's smallest bag, but when you're going to clinicals, you're typically sharing the same um, spaces as the other nurses and CNAs on the floor. So you usually meet and keep your stuff in the break room and you don't wanna be taking up too much stuff with just like huge bags that are overflowing with things. So trying to pare down and be as minimal as possible is something that they really encourage us to do and you will probably get in that position as well when you go to nursing school. So just be mindful of that. These people with those like huge duffel bags or huge tote bags, Really, as far as being a nursing student, they don't really want you to bring those to clinical. So this has been the perfect size for me, especially since I can keep my lunchbox inside as well. I keep everything in one bag rather than having a bunch of smaller million different bags. First thing is my iPad. I don't always bring my iPad with me. It very much depends on the clinical that I'm going to, but sometimes there is downtime or sometimes I get there super early and I have some free moments to study. And you guys know that I am an iPad girly as far as taking notes and doing nursing school life. So I have everything that I could possibly need literally on this one iPad. Next thing is also something that I sometimes bring, sometimes don't bring depending on the clinical, but this is my planner. Um, this is my planner that I got for the year. This is the Bando 2023 planner. I actually did a flip through video of this that I posted on my TikTok, which is just at Jade Benward over there. If you guys want to see my planner, how I set it up, all kinds of stuff like that. I'm a really big type A planner girly, so if any of you guys are like that, <laughs> I think you would like my channel. <laughs> Next up, I just have this little pocket clinical notebook. This is one of my favorite things that I bought and actually probably one of my best recommendations for you guys. These are these little black kind of faux leather journals and they have little pin loops on the side that I bought in like a three pack, I think, from Amazon. This is just where I can take notes on my patient or take notes on like the questions that I'm gonna have to answer in my reflections for clinical paperwork. And then I can go through at the end of the day and add different notes and stuff like that. I did not realize truly how much I was going to learn while in clinicals. I think I'm a really big kinesthetic learner, so actually being able to be there in the hospital providing this care that we're learning about really reinforced it. So taking even just a few quick notes on tips and tricks you learn or anything like that really will help you remember it and ultimately be more successful on exams. 
It was crazy to see how much more successful I was on exams that I had already taken the clinical component that related to what we were talking about on the test versus ones that I was just taking tests off of stuff we had learned in didactic courses. Anyways, really like these notebooks. They also fit perfectly in your pocket and aren't too big. But if you have to take printed out clinical paperwork, which there's definitely at some clinicals that they have certain like sheets or brains that they want us to have with us, this is the clipboard that I use. So I know that you guys have probably seen a million different little folding clipboards especially the ones that fold in half and have like the nursing information on the back those are amazing however they don't fit in your scrub pocket so I actually found this clipboard on Amazon and it is a three-fold clipboard so it actually can fold down and go into your scrub pocket truly you do not want to have to have things that you're carrying around in your hands with you honestly it's just not gonna work so having something like this that you're able to bring around with you in your pocket is really functional I will say like obviously it's kind of a little bit bent it is not like the greatest writing surface in the world but it is definitely better than nothing i also find that it just helps me keep my paperwork organized and not all crinkly and ruined um, and also confidential as well so i really like that i would highly recommend that clipboard as well next up i just have a pair of stoggles honestly i have not had to wear goggles much yet in the clinical setting but i do have these these are pretty much like those goggles that go on that aren't that kind of look like a blue light glass but they have protection on the side and the top so they just look a little bit more cute and a little less i don't know goggly then i have my stethoscope case as you can see a lot of my uh nursing items are just plain black and I know that that is kind of boring and sometimes I'm like oh I should have a more colorful thing but for the most part I just like black it's timeless it's great this case is also from Amazon and I actually would really highly recommend this one I personally liked that it didn't have like any logos or things on it I feel like a lot of them on Amazon like have these little like heartbeat designs and stuff on them which is great and all but for me it's just not my taste and I really love the quality of this one and how it's laid out so on one side, you just kind of have a half mesh pocket where you can keep your stethoscope. And on the other side, instead of just having maybe some pen loops or another half mesh pocket, you actually have a full zippered mesh pocket, which is so nice because you can keep so many things in here and they're not just like gonna spill out, which is awesome. So first up, we have my stethoscope. As I have already shown in a couple videos, this is the Littman Classic 3 in the uh, solid black version. I love this stethoscope, again, with the whole black theme it's just timeless and it matches everything and I didn't want to get something that wasn't gonna match my scrubs so I went with black I would really highly recommend the stethoscope I know there's a million different brands you can get and I know you guys have probably heard about Littman's so much it's not that revolutionary of an idea but truly it is worth spending a little bit more money on this rather than getting one that's cheaper I can hear so well through this it's a good weight. it's not like dragging my neck down and it's just held up so incredibly well I actually have two Whitman's one of them um, is in my other bag that I take for lab and it's like a brown one with the copper metal It's really cute. I love a good neutral aesthetic But I lost this one for a period of time and I couldn't find it and I was having my heart and lung check off coming up So I had to quickly order another one from Amazon and then literally the day That the other one came in I found this I definitely probably could have returned the other one But my dad was just like just keep it you never know when you're gonna need a spare if you miss place this one again then you'll know that you'll have one to take to clinical the next day because genuinely they will send you home if you do not have what you need so if I did not have my stethoscope at clinical they literally could send me home anyways so I technically have two Littman classic threes and I love them both and I really like that other colorway too if you're like a neutral girly but you don't want black then on the other side I keep just a bunch of random tools first I have a little tape measure this is really helpful if you're going to like a mother or baby or uh, kind of like a newborn type rotation for baby assessments. I keep three pin lights in here just genuinely because these are things that you can lose really often. Um, both of these two came in a two pack from Amazon and then this is one that my school gave me. So you can never have enough pin lights. Everything that I keep in this pocket is kind of like the stuff that when I'm grabbing my stethoscope to put it around my neck, I'm also grabbing all of these things to keep in my pocket. It will blow your nurse away if you are actually prepared with things that you need when you go to clinical because she will turn and be like, oh, do you have a tape measure? Do you have a pin light? And you'll be like, yes, yes, I do. 
I also keep pins in here. These are the Colink four color pins from Amazon that came in like an eight pack of a bunch of different cool like pastel colors. But pretty much you guys can see they just have four colors, red, green, blue, and black. Um, and this is just really helpful for me whether or not it's in my little notebook that I showed or on my printed papers that I would keep in my little foldable clipboard to kind of distinguish my notes or even distinguish different patients or circle important information to have different colors. But you don't wanna have to carry around a million different pins. So being able to have four colors in one pin, revolutionary. And then the last thing that I have are just some trauma shears. This is what's really gonna get you brownie points. If you have scissors with you, that's something that, at least for me, I've always noticed that my nurses maybe don't have with them, and they're like, oh crap, like I should have grabbed my scissors. And if you have them and you can cut open that packaging for them, brownie points. I also would highly recommend getting like a really good pair of these. I had another pair and they're fine. I still have them um, if I ever need a backup pair, but they really didn't cut things very well, uh, especially anything that literally wasn't like paper. <laughs> so I did end up getting a new pair. I think these actually came with the pin lights that I ordered. I wasn't even intending to buy another pair, but these are so much better quality. They're also a lot bigger and they're just a lot stronger in general. Um, so I would recommend actually investing in getting a pretty good pair of scissors. So the last thing that I keep in my clinical bag is actually this little toiletry bag. This bag is from Target. I've had this bag for years. It used to be like my pencil pouch in my backpack and I used to get so many questions on it. Anytime it would be in a video. So I'm saying it here, it's from Target. And in here, I just keep a lot of different essentials. I have tampons, I have hand sanitizer, I have some extra masks. I have a lip balm because for some reason my lips be chapping like no other in clinical. Sometimes I literally just carry this in my pocket with me because I need it so often. I also typically wear an Apple watch to clinicals, um, but I do keep this, this little spare like prestige medical white watch in there just because if I don't have my Apple watch or it dies, really it is hard to be without a watch because I actually don't carry my phone on me. Some people do keep it in their pocket, but we are not supposed to be on it during clinical at all. Um, and I just feel like it gets in the way and it weighs down my pocket. So I usually genuinely just leave it in my bag. So I have no way to check the time um, other than trying to find a clock on a wall if I don't have a watch on. I also keep an extra claw clip, one of my go-to hairstyles. I have some hair ties and then I have Midol for period cramps, Advil for headaches, and that is pretty much it in my little emergency bag. All right, guys, that is everything that I keep in my clinical bag. I hope this video was fun or exciting for those of you that are thinking about going into nursing school, or I hope that this was encouraging for you guys that are going in or just trying to figure out what a clinical bag setup should look like. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below, and I would be happy to answer them. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below for more nursing school content, college content, all the good things. Make sure to go over and follow me on all my other social medias. I have an Instagram and TikTok that I've been a lot more active on posting content for you guys over there. I think that's going to be it for this video. I literally start classes back tomorrow, which is so crazy to think about. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.